Hi, I'm Amy Oxford from the Oxford Rug Hooking School in Cornwall, Vermont, and I'd like to talk to you about frames that work well for punch needle rug hooking. So for punch needle, why do you need a frame? The reason is, with your punching, if your backing is tight as a drum, your punch needle glides beautifully through it. The needle goes effortlessly through the backing. If your backing is loose, it's like punching on a trampoline and it's harder to do and also it will make your loops uneven. So you want to make sure you have your backing nice and tight. The frames I'm going to show you are all lap frames, so you won't be punching standing up like I am. That's a little awkward. You'll actually be sitting down leaning um, against a table. This isn't actually a frame, it's a hoop. It's a Morgan no-slip hoop. And when I first started punching, I tried using a regular wooden embroidery hoop, and that didn't work well at all. As I was punching, I was actually punching the backing right out of the hoop and spending more time tightening my backing than I was actually punching. I love this hoop because it's a little different. It's got a lock to it. It's got a groove and a ridge. You put your backing in the hoop, tighten it up, and it actually clicks in place to lock. And then when you tighten it, it will stay um, nicely in place. The pro of this hoop is that it's very affordable. They come in all different sizes. The con is it won't keep it as tight as the other frames I'm going to show you. Another frame that works really well is what we call a carpet tack strip frame. This is a plain wooden frame, um, very easy to make. And if you have a look, it's got these um, strips with these sharp nails on them. The nails are angled out, and it works very, very well for getting your backing nice and tight. They're not hard to make. You can actually get these canvas stretcher bars from art supply stores or craft and hobby stores, and they just pop together like that. And then you can get carpet tack strips from flooring stores or um, hardware stores or Home Depot. And then you put your gripper strip on here and nail it on. Make sure that your nails are angled out. That's what makes it grip the monk's cloth. The nails are as you can see, very sharp. So I like to cover them up. You can use uh, uh, felt padding. I get this at my local carpeting store. They actually save scraps for me and I get it for free. You can lay this on top and with a staple gun, you can staple it on to secure it. You don't have to get anything that fancy. You can use old towels or old sheets roll them up and put them on. And I would staple them on as well, just to make sure that your hands are protected and your arms. I wouldn't use this frame with um, children. The pro of this frame is that it's really affordable. And I used carpet tack frames for over 30 years and just loved them. The other pro is you can get your backing very, very tight. The cons are the, the sharp nails. The next thing I want to show you is a gripper strip frame. Similar to the carpet tack frame, this is covered with little teeth. So instead of nails, we've got thousands of little teeth and they work beautifully for gripping your backing and getting it super tight. The edges of the frame are curved, so the gripper curves around the frame. You can purchase um, the gripper strip and make this frame yourself as well. The teeth aren't as sharp as the others, but they're sharp enough to scratch your arms. So I like to put a frame cover on. This is two layers of flannel and it's got elastic in it just to make it into a tube and it pops on the frame. A 
like so. So then when you go to work, your hands are protected. The thing I love about this frame is it's much faster to stretch your backing onto it than it is the others that I've shown you. It's very much easier to get your backing tight. The con is it is more expensive. Um, I always recommend to my students before you spend money on a, a more expensive frame, start with um, a more affordable frame to make sure that you really love it. And then if you do, you can invest in a gripper strip frame. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel where we will have more videos about using these different frames and how to move a large rug on a small frame.